I'm Zach Gamer 24 7 I'm here to give you a review today on Mac OS X Snow Leopard. I had this running on my iMac for three months now, and I want to give you guys my full review of it. Now, this is the box for Snow Leopard. Let me just grab it here. Um, here's the box. Uh, here's your front. Uh, you got your side, which shows the contents of the box, and you got your uh, version on the side. And on the bottom, you get your serial serial number. Um, here is the disc. In case you guys are wondering what the disc looks like, here it is. It comes on a dual layer dual layer DVD. And if if you guys want to do a if you guys want to know how to do a clean install, I will do a video at the end of December to um show you guys how um I do a clean install the operating system. So I will do that in a later video. Now some of the refinements to this have been um to the insulation. It's um 45 percent faster. Time machine is a little bit faster backing up. And your startup and um, shutdown times would be faster. So Apple says this is fully faster than previous Leopard. Now I do see that in a lot of places, including my shutdown and um, boot up. Um, I went to about um, 30 seconds to maybe 10 seconds of boot up, and to maybe about 30 seconds, maybe to about 15 seconds to shutdown. So that is a, a proven to me. I don't know if it helps you guys out, but um, I would time your um, Leopard uh, shutdown versus your um, snow leopard shutdown. Um, you also get 64-bit support, um, open grand central dispatch for multi-core processors, and open uh, CL which uh, gives you um, video RAM to other places you want to use it. Now you got you got a nice preview of this in WWDC. Um, I just want to point that out. So let me give you some of the new features. Uh, if you go into the finder, um, your finder window, and say you want to look at some stuff, um, you're looking at um, a video, and um, you want to watch it, but here's what, um, you can watch it from in the finder, hey guys, like this, guys. but say you want to make it um, bigger, you can't really see the contents on the screen, but you, um, if you move the slider all the way close, you get a nice um, preview and you guys can see what you're watching. You don't even have to open the app. You can watch it within the finder and it's actually pretty nice. And now um, I actually like this because I use this a lot for my intros. Um, so I don't have to um, go back in the Kino, um, do my intro over and then I just can preview it through um, my um, from the finder which I like a lot. Now you can still um, browse it and through the different um, file, the different views for CoverFlow and all the other ones. But if you really want to watch it, I would keep at the first one, which gives you the slider option. Now, um, stacks. Um, remember in Leopard, if you had a subfolder within your stack, it took you right to the Finder. Well, if you went into a now in Snow Leopard. When you go into a folder, it brings you into when there are stack. And you also got if you got many folders in a in a particular um, group, you also get a slider to show you guys um, what you're viewing. Um, there's a new feature called Doc Expose. Now, if you open uh, Safari, I'm just gonna open a few here. Okay, I got three three Safari windows open, and plus you got all the other stuff you got on your other screens if you have any. Um, so what um, you would normally do is you would squeeze the two buttons on your mouse if you had a my mouse or an Apple mouse as they call it now, or you hit the expose key on your keyboard. So you would do that. But now there's a new feature called Dock Expose. Now um, click on the app you want to dock. I'm gonna choose Safari. It brings you the only the windows for Safari. So um, say I want to view one of these web pages. I just hit the space bar. And it brings, up, brings up me a little preview of each. And you don't even have to um, press it again. You can mouse over every one that you want. Now if you go back and dock expose and hit tab, you can see all the other um, the other um, documents or programs you have open. And instead of um, clicking on it and just going. So you can just view um, all of it. So let me just close Safari. Now there's a new feature, and um, let me just grab my note sheet here. Um, uh, and universal access for the blind and um, 
the blind and who can't hear, the operating system will read you the text on the screen, and on a MacBook, the trackpad will be um will be in Braille, so you can actually read the contents on the screen. So I think Apple's trying to make their operating system more to the um to the uh, disabled in this. So um it's usually pretty um it's good for Apple that they're trying to include everybody in every in every operating system. So you get updated printer drivers through the internet. Now this will come to um, Apple's um, software updates that you will get. And I I actually got mine already. Um, I have I hadn't had any problems with any of my software um, when the first installed. Everything worked. Um, let me see what I got on the second page here. Um, you also got Safari 4. Now this is Safari 4. Nothing really that new. I did a video on the beta. Um, really nothing new. It's really fast. Um, the only thing they suggest in the notes here is that um, if you go to type something, it gives you um, suggestions. I found that in the um, I found that in the other version of um, Safari. I didn't see really big improvement, but you do got um, cover flow history if you guys want to check that out for yourself. Now this is a free download of Apple.com for Mac and PC, so go check it out if you're interested. Now QuickTime, now QuickTime Seven. Um, this is QuickTime Seven. Um, if you, they give you more options to view things in the um, what you would get in QuickTime Pro, um, like a mi movie recording, an audio recording, and a screen recording. Now I don't use um, the audio or screen recording, I usually use Audacity for my audio recordings and ScreenFlow for my video for my screen recordings. So, in case you guys don't want to download any ancient software, you can just do this right through QuickTime. It's actually not that bad. Um, the movie recordings I use for my um, for my video um, blogs off my um, website, and I just use this a lot. It's actually pretty nice. Um, you can see what you're doing down here. It gives you how many. K, um, KB it is. You can adjust the sound and the, um, the you can also make it full screen and it's actually not that bad. So um, and if you mouse over away, if you take your mouse away let me just record something the um, contents, um, the like the, um, go, the exit buttons and the stop record buttons go away so um, they want to incorporate that, and if the video has enough resolution, um, you can actually make it so it extends out into your screen. So you can actually fill up your entire screen. Now I would um, now for 27 inch iMac or the 21.5 inch iMac, this will look pretty nice. But on the 20 inch, it still looks good. I don't really see this looking good on 13 inch MacBook though. That's up to you. So anyway guys, that's basic about it, about um, Snow Leopard in a nutshell. Um, I will do a video on how to reinstall the operating system in um, December. Because I noticed now that I fill up my hard drive pretty fast. And I'm um, starting to notice that I had to, I had to do a um, clean install every now and then. So I'm planning my next one for September. I might plan my next one in March. But um, I might not really, I'm not really sure when I'll do a video on that. So, um, anyway guys, that's my review. If you guys have any questions about Snow Leopard, uh, leave them in the comment section. And I will see you guys.